So this app is called uh, Aesop's Wheel of Fables um, and from getting information uh, from the website based on Wheel of Fortune which is why the uh, the wheel in the middle looks like that. Um, anyway we'll start off with um, some information about the uh, the company. AppyZoo is the company that put this together. And you can see some basic information about people there. We'll go to we'll go to the um, settings screen and uh, you can see English uh, I'm not 100% sure what those languages are but maybe Chinese, Japanese, uh, uh, German and then audio track is either off so you can read the story, you so you can record your own voice or the child's voice and then English and I think Chinese. Um, so we'll go back. So tips for the parent. Uh, we'll go through this very quickly. You probably won't be able to read this too well on the screen. We built this app with parent-child interaction in mind. Storytelling is one of the best ways to bond with your children besides reading. Here are some other fun ways to enjoy this app together. Take turns at the wheel with your child. Spin for a different story every time. Help your children remembering remember your voices. Record your voices for the stories. Great for mums and dads frequently away from home. Train your child's reading confidence, record them, play back, and help them improve. Kids love hearing their own voices. Play games together to bond. The first four stages are easier. Challenge your child to complete the harder ones with three stars, and we'll go through that, uh, what that is in a second. Games are never the same twice. Five random differences out of a total of ten are displayed every time. So what we'll do is we'll show you a fable, and you would spin this and it comes out to the goose and the golden egg so we're gonna there was once a country listen to this the most wonderful goose you can imagine for every day when he visited the nest the goose had laid a beautiful glittering golden egg the countrymen took the eggs to market and soon began to get rich but it was not long before he grew impatient with the goose because she gave him only a single golden egg a day he was not getting rich fast enough then one day, after he had finished counting his money, the idea came to him that he could get all the golden eggs at once by killing the goose and cutting it open. But when the deed was done, not a single golden egg did he find, and his precious goose was dead. And the moral is, those who have plenty want more, and so lose all they have. So there are 20... Um different fables and uh, you can like I said go through each one of them uh, and you can record each one and, and read it or the children can read it um, you once you finish your fable you basically go back to the wheel and go around again we'll show you one more the sheep and the pig one day a shepherd discovered a fat pig in the meadow where his sheep were pastured he very quickly captured the porker which squealed at the top of its voice the moment the shepherd laid his hands on it. You would have thought, to hear the loud squealing, that the pig was being cruelly hurt. But in spite of its squeals and struggles to escape, the shepherd tucked his prize under his arm and started off to the butchers in the marketplace. The sheep in the pasture were much astonished and amused at the pig's behavior and followed the shepherd and his charge to the pasture gate. What makes you squeal like that? asked one of the sheep. The shepherd often catches and carries off one of us, but we should feel very much ashamed to make such a terrible fuss about it like you do. That is all very well, replied the pig, with a squeal and a frantic kick. When he catches you, he is only after your wool, but he wants my bacon. Cree! And the moral of the story is, it is easy to be brave when there is no danger. So you go through them and like I said you spin the wheel and so on and so forth and record as you will. Now if you click on this here, when you get past uh, or when you've read five fables, every time you go and read a new one, this opens up new games for you to spot the difference. And I'll show you what this is very quickly. So there are five differences. And uh, you have the two pictures that you're looking at, and you have to basically find the two differences. There is a clock 
uh, down the bottom that is running out. It gets around to yellow and red and then I presume uh, it runs out when it gets to the top. So you'd go along and um, highlight the differences as you find them and we're looking for five um, so if you can see any let me know um, but I'm not hearing any suggestions so I guess I'm on my own uh, we need one more here and um, I am struggling a little bit it's got to be something to do with the sheep there we go okay that was close so anyway, lots of fun, uh, lots of stories that uh, you don't hear every single day and, and some of them are, are great for kids to learn, um, you know, maybe as they get a little bit older. But um, Wheel of Fables is, uh, is a good program and um, different every time. Like it says, you won't get the same five differences um, together again when you get back to, uh, to that puzzle. So if you did it again, you would have five different... Uh, different things to find and that goes back to the home screen so uh, spin your fables and enjoy <laughs>